Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? Come here and welcome back to our Ticket Legends Let's Play Adventure and a Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope you are enjoying your Christmas day. We're going to do something a little bit different ep this episode. We're going to cut real quick to a Let's Build portion and then we're going to come back for the actual build. So let's build! And we're back, and look at this hideous monstrosity that we built. It, it kind of works as a tower. Then I got to the top and ran out of ideas. So we just got this thing. What, what is even going on here? I, I don't even know. It's, it's hideous, it's ugly, I don't like it, but whatever, because we're gonna put something in here. I'm not even excited to build. I don't even I don't really care about it, but a lot of folks have been requesting this, so as a Merry Christmas gift to all of you, we're gonna be building a solar flower, a power flower, an EMC farm, whatever you want to call it. It's the worst thing in the world as far as killing playability. But we're gonna go ahead and build one. So we're gonna grab some blocks here of diamond. Why diamond? I don't know, why not? We can? I guess that's that's literally the only reason. I just need to build up so I can place something. And there we go. Next thing we're gonna get is we're gonna open up our transmutation tablet, throw this back in here. We need to get an energy condenser, which will throw, I don't know, maybe have the front facing toward the setting sun. That's nice. We're gonna delete this. Now we have to get a couple of items we've never built before. We're gonna get some energy collectors and we're gonna make some antimatter relays, but we're not gonna make those just yet. First off, energy collector, pretty basic glowstone and these things. So we're gonna get a block of this, some of these, and some glass. Excellent. And we will create this bad boy like so. Tap C. Get that rest. Oh, I forgot to get a furnace, didn't I? Oh my. It's such a simple recipe and look what I've done. Just look how I've messed it up. That's embarrassing almost. Almost. Not quite. I mean, I'm not totally embarrassed. Boom. We've got it. And you know what we can do with it is we can teach it to the system and we can make more later if we need to. So we've got our energy collector MK1. What do we do with it? Well, we throw it down on top of an energy condenser. It'll suck up solar rays and you'll see it regenerates EMC by doing that. And then if we want to make something, say, I don't know, glowstone, it'll pipe the EMC down to the energy condenser. Voila, isn't that amazing? If it's in a dark space, you can just drop a piece of glowstone down on it and it'll go like it's completely in the sun because it does have to have the sun. I think that still works, right? Yeah, that still works. Can you do just one of these? Nah, you can surround the whole darn thing in them. So if we wanted to, we could just get like a stack of these. Jeez, they're expensive. And we just like um, drop them down all around here. You can even put one in the bottom, but I mean, really, they... They work best when there's sunlight shining in them, so... Plus, you have to be able to access them to get the items out, so... You might not want to do that, but look at that. We got that going now. Look at that, we're making glowstone in no time. Can it get better? <laughs> yes, it can. If we open this back up, we can build this antimatter relay here. It's called an antimatter relay. No antimatter involved. Just another block of diamonds, some glass, and some obsidian. So we're gonna go ahead and build one of those. We'll get rid of these items. We'll keep the glass. Does it, does it take a... Nah, it just takes a diamond and some obsidian so we'll just get a stack of that stuff and ladies and gentlemen check this out we're gonna make one of them just one of them because once again boom teach it to the system throw this garbage back in here so how does this work well i'm glad that you ask if we break all of these and i don't mean all of them we're gonna go ahead and just break them all because uh it, you know i don't want to have to get any more for the demo we're just gonna go ahead and break them all awesome 
Okay, what you do with the relay here is you can place it down, we'll put it on the front of the chest, and then to this, you can attach more of these collectors, and again, you could even put some on the bottom if you wanted to, I guess. And they will all feed into the relay, which will then feed into the chest, meaning that, look at that, we're still getting boatloads. And you can do this all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and build, like, a full decked out one and show you what it looks like. One of these, one of these one of these and then we'll surround them all with collectors oh no you're not going to get a lot out of it but if you put a relay on top you can then put an extra collector although saying that you could just not put a relay on top and then just put a collector and it literally do the exact same thing you'd be accomplishing the same goals so we'll uh, put some more over here all right, we've decked it all out in glowstone now, so it's as bright as it can possibly be. We left this one open, you could put another collector here, but if you take a look inside, look how fast that is. That is that is absurdly quick. It's making glowstone like nobody's business. It costs a lot. It costs, what, a little over a million and a half EMC to build this thing? But really, you can get to a million EMC pretty early on and then just build these. And they're, they're pretty impressive, they're pretty quick. If we take a look at them, you'll see that this generates four EMC per second which is crazy, and then this will output a maximum of 64, so you have to kind of balance how you're going to, how you're going to hook these things up. Now, can you do bigger? you darn right you can. If we just type in, say, MK2, you can also build the second version of this, which is a bit more expensive, but does 12 EMC per second. You can also do MK3, which is, again, a slightly more expensive, but does 40 EMC per second, so you could get really crazy with this. You can have these things chugging away full-time, producing a ton of EMC, an absolute ton of EMC for the big stuff. And you know what? We're not going to. What we're going to do is we're going to grab one more of these. We'll just plop it down in the bottom there. We're going to fly to the top. You might have noticed that this place doesn't have any doors. It doesn't have any windows. It doesn't have any entrances. There's a reason for that. It's because I never plan on using this thing. Where's my glass? I know I have yellow stained glass. Do I not? Well, darn it. Do I have, what do I have? Boom. There we go. I'm not sure what happened to my yellow stained glass, but that'll, that'll do there. We'll just plop that glowstone there, and we'll leave that in there to do its thing, and we'll never come back to it, because, as I've said many times before, this thing doesn't interest me. I realize a lot of people like it, a lot of people think it makes the game go by much faster, and they just they just like to use it. It feels cheaty to me. It, it, a lot of people, oh, it's not cheaty, it's not key, it's part of the game, it's a game where you can build it. You know what else you can do in the game? You can put yourself in creative mode. But where's the fun in that? There is no fun. Look at what we've done legitimately. We built all of this legitimately. There's no creative mode. The only creative mode used in this was to get pictures before I had flight so I could make thumbnails and whenever I do the camera studio stuff. That's the only time we've used creative. We haven't built anything creatively. It's all been done naturally. It's been work. It's been sweat. It's been tears. Look what we've accomplished. We have four stacks plus 28 diamonds. That's just a ton of diamonds if we fly over here. This thing's probably about to overflow with more charcoal blocks because these quarries are still going. We have an absurd amount of EMC and we haven't cheated. And we've never once been, oh no, I don't have enough EMC to do this. I mean, there's been a couple of times where I've been like, yeah, I need to go mining some more, but not since we've had the quarries running. Since we've gotten the quarries running, it's been incredible. So you know what? There we go. I've shown you how those work. I never have to hear about power flowers ever again. That's your Christmas present. There you go, folks. I've finally done it. They've been built. And if you want to build them in your world, hey, I won't hold that against you. I understand some people like to play this fast. They like to just get it and burn through it. If that's your thing, that is the way to do it. Your power flower is definitely the way to do it. It'll get you to the end a lot faster. I like the slow burn. I like doing things at a slow and steady pace. I like the payoff at the end. When you have something like this house and the base we have in the nether and all these quarries going, look at this quarry. Oh, is it finally finished or is it still just moving really slow? I throttled power on these a lot. Yeah, it's still going because they were getting so... We were getting too many items and we were not even using all the EMC. It's crazy. But folks, this has been the Christmas special, and this will be the last time you see the Christmas house. We're not going to do a video on Saturday, but we're going to start things off Monday for the last week of the year, taking down the Christmas decorations and getting things ready for 2016. So Merry Christmas to all of you. I know I've kind of done this with a little bit of an embitterment because I've been getting a ton of requests for that thing, but seriously... I do enjoy the requests. They do get a little annoying when you ask for big reactors on every episode. They're coming, trust me. But I do appreciate it too because it means you folks are enjoying the videos and you're invested 
and I like to see that. I like to hear that. So definitely keep keep keeping the keep keeping the requests coming in about anything besides big reactors. Keep watching the videos. Please continue to like them if you like them and commenting. Uh, and thank you so much. This has been my biggest year on YouTube, and that's been because of you folks in this series. It has been an incredible year, and I look really look forward to next year. So go enjoy your Christmas. I hope you do. God bless you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.